President Yoon Suk Yeol held a bilateral summit with UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak on the second official day of his state visit to London. The two leaders agreed to cooperate on a wide range of strategic areas for both national and economic security, including deterring missile threats from North Korea. Our Oh Soo Young reports. South Korea and the United Kingdom will develop cutting-edge military technologies to neutralize North Korea's nuclear missile threat. President Yoon suk and Prime Minister Rishi Sunak on Wednesday jointly declared the Downing Street Accord, upgrading their bilateral ties to a global strategic partnership. The set of documents lay out key areas of cooperation in security and defense, science and technology, trade and energy, as Britain tilts its strategic interests towards the Indo-Pacific, which accounts for more than 60 percent of global trade and GDP. The two countries have a shared interest in promoting peace and stability amid geopolitical clashes in the region. As technology blurs the line between national and economic security, sparing a rivalry for supremacy in advanced high-tech areas, Seoul and London will deepen their tech cooperation and work to develop artificial intelligence and quantum technology for military use. If AI and digital technology are utilized in quantum military technology, quantum sensing and control could thwart enemy missile launch attempts, cause malfunctioning in the propulsion and separation stages, and neutralize the trajectory from hitting the planned target point. A presidential official told reporters in London that South Korea looks to maximize its own capabilities to deter North Korea's security threat and curb its illegal weapons activities and exchanges with countries like Russia. In doing so, Seoul will accelerate its research and development and build up a network of like-minded countries. On broader security issues, South Korea and the UK agreed to establish a new 2 plus 2 dialogue between foreign and defense ministers and develop closer defense industry cooperation. They will also conduct joint military exercises, share maritime security information and hold joint maritime patrols to enforce UN Security Council sanctions against North Korea. The two countries forged a strategic cyber partnership, the first such document adopted at the leaders' level for both countries. Seoul says this could lead to closer cooperation with the Five Eyes intelligence sharing network. In the accord, Yun and Sunak jointly condemned Pyongyang's unlawful nuclear missile programs and called for an end to its military cooperation with Moscow. They also opposed attempts to subvert international law and freedom of navigation in the East and South China Sea, condemn Russia's aggression towards Ukraine and Hamas's initial terrorist attacks on Israel as unjustifiable, and sought peaceful and humane solutions. As they join hands across all key strategic challenges, marking 140 years of diplomatic relations, South Korea and the UK vow to work together to defend freedom and democracy around the world. Oh Soo Young, Arirang News, London.